Hello, welcome to a new Trimble Sight Vision tutorial video. Today we're going to take a look at the Profile and Alignment app, which is new in version 2. For the best accuracy, we recommend using this app in GNSS mode with Sight Vision mounted on a pole. Tap the app icon to measure the first point of your alignment. This will start the template creation workflow. You'll need to step back to see the template design grid. Create your template by tapping on the design grid to insert nodes. Each node will connect to the previous node to form your template. Nodes can be edited by tapping and dragging or by entering a value in the design panel on the left hand side. The padlock icon at the bottom of the screen toggles the grid snap on or off as needed. Double tapping on a node will delete it. Single tapping a node will select it and any new nodes will be inserted directly afterwards. Once you're happy with your template, tap on the right hand arrow to proceed to the next step. Now it's time to define the rest of our alignment. Step past the first point you measured to measure your second and subsequent alignment points by tapping on the app icon. As you add additional alignment points, the alignment length will display on the left hand side of the screen. Horizontal curvature will be automatically introduced around corners. The vertical profile will follow the measured points but can be adjusted later. Visually, you can see the measured alignment represented by a yellow line. This corresponds with the blue cross or centre of the cross-section template. In this example, I hung my template to the left of the alignment so I could follow the base of the existing bund. But you could also create a template that is centred or even offset completely from the alignment. After you've created your alignment, the profile icon will appear. Tap this to enter profile editing mode. The alignment will be displayed in a long section. Tap on the fields to edit the values. Absolute elevations can be input to meet a specific start or end elevation, or vertical offsets applied to adjust the elevation relative to the measured points. The grade can be specified in conjunction with a start or end point, or both end points can be defined and the grade automatically calculated. The red line gives a preview of the new vertical profile. Tap apply to confirm the changes and exit the window. The cross section slider is a handy way to review your alignment. If you do find any issues, it's possible to delete alignment nodes by double tapping on the node. Single tapping an alignment node selects the node and new nodes can be inserted directly afterwards. By using this combination of delete and insert, you can easily adjust the location of your alignment if needed. Once you're satisfied with your alignment and profile, tap the tick icon to complete the design. This will create a DSZ file containing the design which is compatible with the Trimble Earthworks machine control system. Take a look at our tutorial video that explains how to get this design straight onto your machine in the field. 